Uh, all right, stream has started. Uh, sorry, everyone, spit oh, a touch late. <laughs> um, has yeah. any of the roster things has or has any uh decisions been made yet? Um, not, not um, yet. Okay. No. Am I echoing? Yeah. Okay. Am I echoing? Oh, I don't hear any echo. Yeah, you are echoing. Oh, okay, Scream is now up. You know, when you flame me, go a little bit easier. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna flame you, man. All right, who, whoever, you're gonna get flamed. For sure. Whoever is echoing, <laughs> please mute yourself. Yeah, that's. All right, I'm going back to the captain chat. Good luck, guys. Right. Okay. Yep. So There's no decisions have been made yet. Um, the drafting order is from B to G, and then. Let's see. I'll hop back into Captain's chat and Paul and Mira can take over here. Okay. Yeah. So, welcome everyone to 2024 draft show. As can we get some pogs the... in the chat? Yeah. Can we get some pogs? Some pogs in the chat. Yeah. Oh, we need some. Yeah. So, the draft order, as you can see on screen, is B. Drew's, uh, Yitor, then Unlucky's, Abraham Park, Inspiring 309, and then SK Telecom T1 with the last pick. Drafting hasn't actually started yet, um, and with me I have, uh, would you like to introduce yourselves? Yeah, uh, ladies first. Are there no, there are no ladies? Oh, I thought, whoops. Hi, I'm Lauren. Um, I go by Zateo, and I'm like eighth down after the... Uh, list or whatever, and I haven't played League of Legends since last year's Winter LOL. Cool. And then I'm Enoch. Uh, I go by First Seraph, uh, and I am not participating in this year's Winter LOL. You're not playing? No. Oh, he's not even on here. Yeah, because I will be in a different country. Um, Wait, in Winter LOL. What? That's kind of fog. Right. Sure. <laughs> I guess you're allowed to be in a different country. Ooh, looks like draft has started. It looks started. like we have started to draft. Okay. Indeed. So first pick is um, Santiago, a simple string. So that means... Um... Oh, and Binky Blinky. So we pop over here. Tends to use first round pick simple string, and Yitor picks up Binky Blinky. Generally, it looks like they're just going for... Um, just like down the line. High elo, but then Paul... Skipped over Paul. Sam Kim. I don't know who this is. Lunar Rice, the Sam Eater. Um, he yeah, I think he's by... a new. He's newer. Yeah. Okay. Class of 26. So it looks like a sophomore. Yeah. He, get, he gets picked up by Unluckies, which is. So we young. have a top in 80 carry and a support coming out. Already. Yeah. Uh, um, have you. Have either of you looked at, like, the draft before? Uh, I've been part of the draft multiple times uh, as a former captain, um, but I haven't looked at this year's draft. But okay. generally, when I'm going to pick a first one, I do want someone that's higher ELO, that's not playing my role, and it looks like that's what's happening right now um, with the sort of variety. Uh, you know, I think Ben Drew's first pick, like top mid, so... Maybe looking to, to win that way. Yeah. And then got AD carry support for, for Yitor, which it's the other two roles. And then, you know, we're going along the list. No one's yeah. picked something that they, you know, are strong at yet, which makes sense. That probably won't happen until later. I mean, Derek, Yitor has played a lot of ADC for past participation in tournaments. So maybe he wants to be unchanged from that role. Okay, Abraham mm. is next in pick, and it seems like he goes. He goes for beep and bop. <laughs> Hashtag I love you, Jaden. Okay, so Paul. So words just skipping over Emerald three Paul Kim for a plat three freshman. It seems, which yeah. honestly I don't really know. I don't really know the the strategy behind that, but I guess Abe does jungle main. You know. Yeah, well, Mid there's jungle, yeah, it's like wants top to play. jungle. One captain yeah. picked up a top, but most of the captains are like 
jungle. Tangential. Yeah. And Abe I actually says he's think mid first roll. So I actually think Paul so. is a really underrated pick. Every time I've played with Paul, he has performed incredibly well. And I think is he from underrated? What I've seen, he's like second here. He's literally the yeah. But I I think like he's been skipped over by every. Oh, he got he just got picked by. Yeah, he got Spenny. picked up by Inspiring Three Hundred Nine, no. who is which Spenny probably is very happy about. Also listed as a jungle top, so I can't say it's like the most obvious person to pick him up, considering they have uh, complementary roles. A very antithetical yeah, to Lauren's like a... uh, thesis. I mean, Spenny's <clears throat> a jungle. And then he plays Yorick. So having Paul just like keep up the top lane, where I think Paul mostly plays like top style char- characters, I think that's fine. Fiora. That makes sense to me. Yeah, I, I, I've had Paul before on my team, and he really sticks true to like the fun, simple champions that can maybe go carry hard. So Malphite, honestly, Fiora, I think it's a value Gath, pick for Garen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are those are definitely some champions. <laughs> there, there was a time where where Paul's Fiora almost you know brought us back a game, but um, so he know. didn't. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't really his fault entirely. Was it your fault? Um, possible. You know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of pieces to to how you win and lose games. All right, so. As the reason this snake pick is taking a bit, SK Telecom T1 is the last person in this part of the snake, so he actually gets two picks in a row. So he's probably yeah. just thinking a bit about how he wants to make use of this two pick advantage. Any idea yeah. what he? Any guesses of what you think he's gonna go for? You yeah. know. Uh. Oh, I guess he just picked up a jungler. Oh, also little Phil. Yeah. He plays fiddle. <laughs> but is Daniel Reyes? Uh, do y'all know him? Are, are they a fiddle awesome. OTP? So you better pick up Marcus. No, no, no. Anyway, I mean, if I'm if I'm Tofu here, you know, Tofu puts double mid. Makes sense. You pick a jungle to go with your mid. But it's double, the highest double mid. non. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's he's the highest use non. Use flex. You know, uh, Captain Mid, so that's pretty good. And then, I don't know what he's thinking next. I hope he doesn't really pick me, to be honest. Uh, well, you are next. Well, maybe, why, like, why don't you want to be on Tofu's team? It's it's not it's not that I don't want to be on Tofu's team. I've had success with Tofu's team before. Right. It looks um, like Tofu picked up me, actually. <laughs> then Bui. Instead of Lauren. I just hate him. <laughs> yeah, Lauren just hates Tofu. Oh, but you, Lauren, oh. you do get picked up by inspiring three oh nine. Oh goodness! So are you happy to get great. picked up by um, Spenny? Honestly, I was hoping to get picked up fourth round, um, maybe fifth round. How are you gonna get picked up fourth round? Uh, You're like in the top I was just, order I was gen- of this Google sheet. Yeah, but I haven't played League of Legends in. Um, Approximately three hundred and sixty. I have days. zero. I don't. I haven't played any of my s- placement games. <laughs> you. I have. I think they created maybe like a new, uh, you know, area where they or like you know segment of the of the, the sheet where they picked out norms because you have played no rank, but you have played some norms where I've played zero and I'm the only person with zeros all across the board. So it's like. You know, I, I really it, thought that that might have might, might have factored in, but it did, it didn't really. I guess I guess people just don't really care about the numbers. Right. Anyway, Abraham Park has picked up Macron. Is that how you pronounce um, their username? A mid and ADC player played a lot of Vlad, Kassadin, and Ziggs. Extremely wholesome champions. Yeah, those 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 seem a little bit toxic. Definitely um, not not at all racist champions here. Um, From what I know, and he's all- mo- mainly a Vlad one trick. A Vlad one trick. Okay, that feels weird to me for for Abe to pick up. Um, technically, there's three number one role mids on Abe's team at the moment, um, and that makes maybe maybe Abe plays through mid because he definitely doesn't play through bot. 
Like, I know that for sure. Also, Mira gets picked up by Unluckies. I have played with Mira before, but I don't exactly recall. Um, well, I, I guess you can see they play like just the two ball control mages. So, seems rock solid and steady. Mm. I, I see no absolutely no issue with just picking up someone who could play Syndra and Oriana, personally. Oh Ben, can we also switch in between the drafting page as well as the like list? Uh, so sure. people can uh, also I'll, get a I'll, pick, I'll swap it over once this second round is done so we can just see how that's all shaken out. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, Etor picks up yeah. LN2 Celsius. Um I have zocho clue who this is. Um, they play top and jungle, I just, and also plays I think, Garen. <laughs> no, we have so many Garen really players. A lot of, a lot of Garen players. Also, the guy with the most amount of ranked games played. Four hundred and sixty-four. Right. So I, I <laughs> saw like he's very warm to the the draft screen, and Tens dudes actually picked up his next two really fast. A right now, and entry right away. Wow, looks like uh, I don't know who Tens Dudes is, but um, Do, you going with know people that he might seem oh. seem is familiar uh, for some reason. Maybe he is like an alumni that just like hates new new league players, like actual real Williams, you know, students. Wait, but he first picks an alumni. Kind of weird. Yeah, I mean that's rank, but but other than that, <laughs> maybe he just doesn't want to make new friends. Okay. <laughs> yeah, everyone here in the tournament is either a Williams College student or a Williams College alumni or Etor. <laughs> right. Um, is spending a little bit of time on his next pick. Uh, so he, good. He's, he's got a in LN2 Celsius. What roles are is he lacking? Yeah, I mean it looks like it's an eighty carry, um, jungle. Oh no! Isn't Binky Binky's eighty carry jungle? Ooh, he goes for shine as support. Mid, he said. And we get we're gonna get our support there. Okay, so Yitor has a team that is, you know, he ha he's a top maybe mid eighty carry. He has a pretty solid eighty carry. He has, a, he has, you know, support. He's rounding out. He, he has pretty much everyone, it seems, on their main roles so far. And, he has, you know, he can pick up top because Etor is very flexible. So he's looking for a jungle. He doesn't currently have a jungle. Uh, but maybe Binky can play jungle. I don't remember if he does. I mean, Sam Lang is still up. And he is um, jungle first role. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm lucky he's I think up Binky... holy Falk. <laughs> it's still a mystery how he gets away with that name. Uh, to can another I get top jungle link? player. Can I get a link to the the sheet? Uh, sure. Um, Wait, Lauren, did uh, Binky play jungle when he was on your team last winter? Lol. I'm pretty sure he did, if I remember correctly. Um, and then sure Adam was also a, your mid jungle support, too. jungle jungle switch up. You know, so. Mm. But, you know, I kind of blocked that out of my memory a little bit. I was just there for the vibes. What and did then... you block out of your memory? Last winter, Last winter lol. lol. I believe rank GP is ranked games played. Um, Greeny pick. Yeah. That is why some of us... There's a very wide distribution of big numbers and zero. Big numbers and zero, for sure. Um, right. And it Abraham looks like up Sammy Abraham... S. Put Except Sammy. Sammy Sasaki. Uh, that's pretty yeah. Sammy's a top laner, right? Um, yeah, and pretty high top mid. amongst the players. Pretty high rank amongst the players that are still here. Yeah. Still plays the game. 82 games played <laughs> compared yeah, to the players that are left. Win rate, but like, it's still still an active player. Honestly, I think, I think Abe has a lot of active players. He's got... Uh, Sammy, he's got Macron, who uh, looks like has 78 games played. Uh, All plays 213. And Abe himself, you know, plays a lot. 
you know, 179. Yeah. So it, it looks like he, he wants people that are committed to the game, you know, that maybe he can organize stuff, play well with. Yeah. Inspiring 309 picks up Little Niles, Buzz, mid top lane player. Another, uh, does Spenny have a lot of role overlap? I feel like he has a role overlap. We got mid, we got AD carry, we got top, and we got Spenny. So it looks like Spenny's yes, looking for Spenny. support. So unless, you know, Spenny plays support, he's got mid top jungle or mid top AD carry all, all fulfilled. He's just looking to fill it out. I'm, I'm expecting a, a text from him at any any point asking for my input. Um, but I don't legal? think he'll do that. You, you know, I, I mean, he did already draft me. So it's possible. But I, I, you know, I doubt it. I just doubt it. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm gonna hop back into the completed draft sheet so far. Because SK Telecom T1 is setting up to do the final turn in this snake draft. He's currently running a little fiddle and myself. Yeah. Right now, he's gonna pick up the last two players um, for his team. He's looking for support, you know, possibly top lane. Um, yeah. It seems pretty, like, I don't know, Sam Lang, jungle top. Yeah, Timothy Kim. But Sam Lang's way higher, you know. Yeah, well, I don't think we're lacking in support players. Okay, so we- yeah. Timothy was on your team too, Lauren, right? Not Electro and you know, King of I- Timothy. So he goes. He goes for the uh, the higher ranked players instead of filling out perfectly his his roles, which which is is definitely a strategy. Definitely a strategy. Is King of Timothy's top, as does no Electro's eighty carry. So maybe he's hoping on you being flexible, Ben. Am I flexible? I, 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 you, you tell me. I, I, I don't think I don't think so. I don't think you're that flexible. But you do play a lot of norms, so no it does. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have the A RAM experience. Can, that part is true. If I can recall, I think your A RAM's pretty high, so Alright. Inspiring 309 goes for Ender Flash as his last round pick. Okay. So he goes for the support last pick. I think Spenny's really yeah. has all the roles. Everyone, everyone has their roles. Yeah, Allison Jane, you know? uh, support main, but zero games played this season. Look, Allison has more over... normal games than I do. Yeah, but uh, you know, I'm just I'm curious on um, the how how captains are valuing you know normal games versus. Someone like Angela or Lady Tree, who who has a lot of A Ram, maybe plays like A Ram, I don't know, once a day, something like that, just to get the bonuses that don't really exist anymore. What the first win of the day? Yeah, but like those, those are fake, you know. All right, Aaron Park trying to figure out his last pick. Looking. Let's see, he's got a top, he's got a jungle. He has an AD carry. Beep and pot? No. Yeah, I think Abe is thinking, maybe he might be thinking about what he's doing for the AD carry position. Hmm. I mean, he could play like Sibir or something. Yeah. I think well, he's played George before, w. but... listed ADC as a secondary role. Yeah, that's pretty much the only possible ADC that's left. Unless Abe wants to do a little switcheroo. Um, Although champs played is enchanters question mark. Yeah, I, I'm a little scared of personally about a um, uh, someone who puts a question mark next to their uh, main champions played. Um, but looking at the quick, you know, UGG. Looks like uh, George W. Shrub might be sandbagging a little bit. It has a rank flex of gold three. Um, hey, yo, wait, they're hiding their, plays their a lot rank? of silver. Gold three, that's higher than silver four. 
I mean, it is undoubtedly higher. And than he does go for, for George W. Shrub. Hashtag zero you know? one zero. And displays Sivir, it seems, and then Arena, which a lot, a lot of Arena. Unlucky goes for the quick pickup on Sam Lang. Angus McRib. Honestly, pretty high uh, value pick to get in like the very high game. value pick. <laughs> Constantly underrated. Constantly underrated, I think. But and then we're he just wrapping up, up the last two. Jack. And Abraham only player gets pick last. And tennis oh. dudes pick so Angela Lady Tree is the last overall pick. It just seems like an alumni team right there. Alumni and Simple Street. It, yeah, it feels like Ten Stews might have gone for the, you know, diver friends and diversity hire of a current student. <laughs> Alright, so here's how wow. the overall um, draft shook out. Any oh, unbiased cool. favorites you have? I think we should take a team by team. Yeah, so 10 stews. What are your thoughts besides like a 10 stews. friend draft? Let me, let, me, let me take a gander real quick. Simple string looks looks pretty good, honestly. You know, a, a, a pretty consistent player. Plays ranked. Wins a lot of ranked. Probably underrated it. The win rate's 59%, and they're at M level 3. Um... So there, there has been a historic, uh, you know, way of winning Winter Lull, which is play through top as like a, a, a strong way. But I don't think that might, I'm not sure that'll happen this round because there's Yitor who could probably play top. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. Top, top doesn't seem like the strong, has the strongest pool of players. So maybe that might be a strategy right there. Well, except that um, Yitor is challenger or was challenger. Yeah, yeah, but you know, playing was Yitor. You know, you know, you know, you don't. Who knows, right? So, thinking that's a possibility. But Yitor is a very good jungle player. You know, can carry, can move any lanes. But it, from what I know, with Jimming, with Arachno Bat, and Entropy and Lady Tree, is they're pretty, pretty. You know. Stable players, it feels. Nothing too, nothing yeah. too. Uh, well, extreme I, I think, there. yeah, like Entropy, Literature are both pretty safe, and mm -hmm. Beatrice might be going for the uh, League of Legends game theory of you need a team of like one to two inters and like three people playing safe, mm, or one to two, you know, yeah. high variance players. And I think he mm -hmm. he would consider himself a high variance player. Yeah, and maybe he. Drafts Marcus to make sure that someone says no to his ideas, but mostly I think he'll just be going with it, trying things out. Um, really depends on how well those go, you know. Yeah, um, I think when I look at this team, what worries me is like who the carry is, because I think if you play through top, it feels like Yitor and Paul can both nullify um, the carry potential, and so I think Ben Drews has to be the carry. But uh, well, yeah, I think he's in my experience. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the strategy. <laughs> okay. I'm wait, gonna, wait, I'm wait. Who's team were you just talking about? Right mark that. I was talking about Ben Drew's team. Plays oh, my God. Yeah. I agree. I, I like that. That's a, that's a good place for himself and maybe top. We don't really know a ton about Simple String. Seems like a, a good player, though, for sure. All right. Yitor's team... Uh... Yitor is a very strong player. Uh, FYI, for any students or people who have not played with him before, you should ban Garen. It might seem dumb. You might think to yourself, how can someone carry on Garen? But you should probably just <laughs> do it. Don't ban Garen. Garen is a shit champ. He's literally a tutorial <laughs> champion. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. All right, then. That, that, that was right. I don't want to comment with the, the people in here. What is this? <laughs> um, yeah. I, I mean, other than Yitor, Binky, you know, is a also has played a ton. Um, and he has some pretty seasoned veterans, you know? Like, people that have played in Winter Bowl before that are familiar, like Shine, Will, and um, 
And even and even uh, what, Ellen two. Who's Ellen two? I've played with Ellen. Addison. Yeah, Addison. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You know. So like, he has a pretty seasoned team. You know, like like they're not new to this. Oh my god! Wait, Addison is like really the know. most ranked games played amongst like everybody here. Mm-hmm. By like a he, he, also has, he also has a Smurf that he plays right now too. What the? Yeah, yeah. I don't see the grinder. I respect it. <laughs> his glow up is insane. Wait, but is hold dedicated. on. I, I'm opening up the OP.GG. Is because their yeah, first gotta, champion gotta, listed yeah. is also Garen. <laughs> they are a <like> 109 <laughs> games of Garen. Yitor <laughs> picked up hence another Garen main. Wait, wait. Is this another? Just play through yourself, except via Garen. All right. Sort of team. Well, no, because Ellen too can pick Garen. No, there's no way. Er, everyone just ban Garen against Yitor's team. All right, moving on. Can we just tournament ban here? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think Yitor, you know, just ban Garen. We'll see what happens after that. Uh, everything's up in the air. For sure. Um, unluckies, though. Wrong. I don't know too much about Frong. Yeah. Frong's a, a plot one flex player, uh, an Emerald 4 rank player, but looks like just played enough to get Emerald 4 and left it at that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and a pretty carry, a carry jungler. Kha'Zix, yeah. Graves. I mean, one important thing to consider is this tournament is happening like almost right after the big um, update. So game is going to be pretty different for this tourney. Yeah, but I feel like the DNA of, of, of who people are, you know, like, if this guy plays carry jungles, he'll, he'll find a way to play carry jungles. Um, and I'm I'm a little bit, in, I mean, really intrigued by his second pick as well, who um, has a lot of just, like, really solid engage supports so i'm I, I, and then and then mira by the flag feels like the pick you know so Solid. this could be a playthrough bot sort of sort of angle for them yeah Abram um, Park, because the highest Abram level Park support before. yeah or you played like with abraham park before I played on Abraham Park before. You know, there's a lot of lot of ways Abraham Park and I have been played. Yeah, is are you is someone familiar with Beep and Bop? Jaden. Hashtag no, I, I love think you. He's a freshman. I think he's a freshman actually. Look, um, bot three freshman. You know, big Lux player. It seems you got a few Yumi Tarakas. Um, seems like someone that you would like. Uh, plays Yumi and Soraka. No, Yumi's so boring now know. after they changed her. <laughs> <laughs> Yumi's actually such a snooze champion. It's a shame. Um, so, but Abe, you know, Abe likes. Honestly, I I haven't. Abe likes. I, I can't tell what Abe likes to do. You know, he could be a Quinn. You know, he, he could. He likes try Quinn to carry through the jungle. Malzahar. But he, you know, drafted two other mid uh, first players. Um, he also drafted Sammy, who's a top mid player, and then George W. Shrub, who's a support AD carry. So um, I think we said earlier that he wants people that are actually like grinders and actually plays the game, which is, I think, good. Uh, but I don't really know what they're going to do about the, the roles. Uh well, we'll see how they sh- shake it out. All right, or your team, inspiring three oh nine. I mean, cl- the clear favorites for sure, but I, I feel like I shouldn't comment. I feel like uh, I- this is I-, I I don't know this I don't know this game at all. I haven't played it at all. You know, since the last one. I actually won, so. think that Lauren's team seems very strong in my opinion because I I do have. I, okay, <clears throat> I think in the times that I've played with Spenny, Spenny has performed very well, and I think the same holds for Paul too. Yeah, I think so. Paco, I think that like I've seen him has been pretty good. 
for both of them, right, they're, like, quite stable, and you can, like, they have a very, like, high floor, in my opinion. Like, usually their off days, they perform quite well regardless. Um, and I think what I like about both of them is that they're both very flexible players. I think Paul can play carry champs very well, and he can also play tank champs very well. And I think that will be very useful in drafting Lauren. I don't know how good Lauren is anymore, um, not playing this season, but I think he has been one of the highest performing or the highest ranked ADCs in previous tournaments. And so I think with those three in the court, it's already a very strong team. And I also have a very high opinion of Niles. Even though he doesn't play a lot, um, I think he's just very stable and he's like a very good mid laner. He's a, uh, yeah. So I think that's my opinion. I don't know much about Ender Flash, but yeah. Yeah. Also, they do have the benefit of like everyone does slot into like a role that they're all comfortable with that like mm. games team didn't have. Yeah. Which is always like I mean, nice I and think... short, um, like it's a short turnaround time for the actual tourney good to know because i won't be playing until that friday so Ooh, you know that no I practice slot back into 80 carry uh, i i wasn't i was not lying about that i have i have different priorities but um i think it's really great that i can just slot into a role that i am familiar with and everyone else is familiar with that role and we can just keep going um but yeah i'm excited to see what happens Especially, and also, I, I think bans are something that we haven't talked about uh, other than Garen, but there are certain captains and then certain players on all these teams that, like, have particular one tricks that require bans and stuff like that. So I feel like that's going to be a really interesting part to this draft. All right, and then Which last is my Which is a little fiddle. <laughs> yeah, it's a little I fiddle. If you ban fiddle from little fiddle, I don't, I don't know what happened, like, they, it's it's unknowable actually. We, we need to like try let it through at least a few games, to get some research. Yeah, I I mean, from from research currently, Little Fiddle plays infinitely more than Fiddle, but but just for the lols, you know, like what would happen if no one ever let him play Fiddle? Uh, no, I actually uh, actual analysis like I think Tofu is a, a great player who. Uh, plays a lot, uh, and also cares what's OP, and so he'll play OP things. Wait, Lil Fiddle doesn't even play flexible. that much Fiddle anymore. What the? What I the know. Scam? <laughs> Lil Fiddle's but, got like, more games of Echo and J4 than he, than they do have a Fiddle. Tofu has maybe some of the biggest, like, carry potential types with a jungle that might be able to focus on him, and a pretty solid AD carry. Um, so, like, Maybe, like, honestly, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared for, like, a, a really unleashed, you know, powerful mid laner. Um, because he is the highest ranked mid, not counting Abe, who drafted all the other mids uh, for some reason. Like, he's the highest ranked mid, and he will likely dominate anyone that he faces. And especially if he has, like, really good jungle help, that can just take over a game. And I've seen it done. All right then. Uh, does anyone have any like last things they want to say before we close out the stream? Oh. Oops. All right. Well, I'm gonna shout out Shrub. Apparently, Shrub is the hashtag goat. Or right, to Zach and GG. Thanks everyone for tuning in for the 2024 uh, Winter Law Draft. When exactly was the tournament itself again? Does anyone want to call this off the top of their head? Uh, the, like, the, 20th the 20th? The um, 20th. Alright. Yes, I'm so smart. <laughs> Stay tuned for the actual tournament in the 20th. Wait, that's in like a little over two weeks. Alright, in a little yeah. over two weeks, we'll be playing at Williams College. Hopefully, y'all can show wow. up. Wow. Uh... You are mandated to show up if you sign up. Yeah, you're mandated to show up if you sign up. Uh, ignore any of the subs that you might have seen in the sheet. Uh, there will presumably be food. Free food! College students love free food, right? Hey, yep, there's a new pizza place. Maybe we'll get something from there. Yeah, and if, if not, you can always ask uh, Tofu to buy things. So true. Right. Yeah, there'll be random snackage. So yeah, it's just show up. It'll be a hopefully fun time. 
Right. Amazing. Well, 